Hi students, I'm going to review with you how to begin creating a Google Drawing mosaic on your formative practice. And I'm going to just focus today on the basics on how to start to create different shapes using the polyline tool. So first thing you wanna do is zoom in on the area that you're going to work on. So we already have our background here, it's gray. We have our picture, it's in the middle, it's this apple. We need to zoom in on the part of the apple we're gonna start with. So I'm going to go over here to the zoom. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. You could control plus alt plus uh, the plus sign too, if you'd like. Now I'm zoomed in more. I could even zoom in further if I want to, but let's just start with this now. Next step, now that I'm zoomed in, I need to select the polyline tool. The polyline tool can be accessed by going into insert, come down to line, and then come over to polyline. And you'll notice that it has that little arrow type shape next to it. So that also can be accessed right here. So if it's if it's on that, then that means your polyline tool is currently being um, selected, okay? So it's right next to the select button. All right, now we're ready to create a shape. So to create a shape, and I'm gonna do one right here, a really big one. You're gonna click either with your mouse or a left click on the touchpad, and you're going to click again every time you want the shape to have a slight corner or you wanna kinda of like lock in a section. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of tracing around the outer edge of this yellow color that I see. And, and notice how it's all mostly the same value of yellow. And now when I click the final time, I'm going to make sure the cross is on top of the other side of the shape of, of this polyline. Okay, and when I click on it, it's going to all turn bold and you're going to notice right now it's got a bold black outline around it that's the next thing we need to change that's called the border color we're going to change that to transparent so you're going to go up here where you see the little pen which is next to the paint bucket okay it says border color click on that come down to transparent we're going to have our border be transparent for all of our shapes okay click that now it's transparent now to change the color we're gonna to go to the paint bucket, also known as the fill color, click on that, and you're gonna pick the color that you want. We're gonna get into color more next class, and I'll make a separate video for that. So I'm just gonna go with light yellow for now. Okay, now we're going to continue this process. As we continue to create shapes, I do want to mention, you wanna think about really trying to wrap these shapes around the form. So all of your shapes, as you're making them um, around, like, the, around the edges of the form, you wanna make sure that the shape itself is curving. This is gonna really help give more of a three-dimensional quality to the three-dimensional apple you see here. Okay, so the um, automatic color it's gonna use is the one that you used prior, so it's yellow again. So we're gonna change that now to red. And I have these different choices. I'm just gonna go with this one for now. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep going. And you're gonna get better and faster at this the more that you practice. Try to make the same amount of space between each of your little shapes and really try to get as specific as you can with um, you know, changing, changing to a different shape and then making a different color when you notice that the color's changing. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit lighter of a red for that section. Okay, again, these colors are not perfect, not even close, but that's okay. We're gonna to get to color more in the next video. Now, if you ever wanna see your progress, go to the select tool, okay? And I just double click that. Um, I'm gonna select the picture, the photograph of the apple, and I'm going to actually cut it. So I'm gonna to go to edit, cut, and now that's what I have created so far. If I just hit the undo, like that, I can bring that image back so that I can see it again. All right, hope this helped you. Bye.